cartons uh, of milk. Happy Halloween, guys. <laughs> uh, yesterday? Yeah, happy Halloween yesterday. <laughs> Welcome um, to Gator Game Day. I'm Charlie West. Oh, uh, and I'm Victor Meaty. It is Rivalry Week, and we're all so pumped, and it's going to be awesome. We're so excited for the big game. Yeah, it's so pumped that uh, they actually continue Spirit Week into this week by uh, dressing up as all sorts of things. It is all most tonight. definitely Halloween, Victor, and yeah. that's fine. Um, the Lexington River Bluff game rivalry is deep, pretty much originating back to River Bluff's core. Uh, it is, and to date we've only been able to beat Lexington once every, every like five years, right? So. Odds are not looking in our favor. You know what? That's okay. Um, last week was definitely not a productive match. Um, we lost to White and Knoll, and Jackson Stone only had 9 and 11, so the Gators really had to rely on their running game to move the ball. Oh, that's true. And White and Knoll's defense was completely on point <clears throat> with Kendall Long only scoring 43 yards and Riley Myers scoring 24, while White Knoll's Kendi Ramsey had more yardage than well, both of them with 75 yards. <laughs> Braden Walker had a decent night with 103 yards and a touchdown, which put River Bluff on the board early in the second quarter, but it went downhill from there with River Bluff's offense, Braden still successful 26 field goal attempt. And thus the uh, Timberwolves won 14 to 10. I think River Bluff was just a little off last week, um, especially with on taking White and Knoll, and we took for granted that their quarterback had been hurt. That's true. Uh, tell you what, let's cut to Blythe Barno and uh, hear some reactions from the players. And then let's cut to uh, Coach Harden and see what he thinks. How have you prepared differently for this game than previous games? Uh, well, you know, last week I don't think our focus was there. So this week, you know, we were more focused. Uh, our preparation was better. Uh, we studied a lot more, watched more film, and um, hopefully uh, all that hard work paid off tomorrow when we play licensing. How have you prepared for this game differently than previous games? Uh, we were a lot more focused this week. Um, we stayed very on point, and uh, we were confident throughout the week that we were uh, able to beat Lexington and come out stronger and faster than them. How have you prepared for this game differently than previous games? Well, I actually watched a lot more film than I have on previous games, just mostly because I want to beat our rival and not lose to them for another four years. I want to have our streak of beating them. Weeks. We really treated this week like every week uh, this entire year, so we haven't changed anything. Our kids know how how big the rival is, and you know they know all all, all of Lexington's players. So we've really just been a normal week. And, really just try to focus on us and clean up some things from last week that we did poorly. The Wildcats and the Gators are both 7-2, and two, and so it's definitely going to be a big game tonight as it's the last game of the season, so there's a lot riding on it. Um, there's a lot at stake as well, given that it's a home game. So here is Lexington's coach, Woolbright, with his thoughts on tonight's game. You know, big win last Friday night, uh, but getting into this week, you know, our guys have done a good job all year long. You know, enjoying the wins on Friday night, enjoy it on Saturday, but we know once we come Sunday, it's time to turn the page and get ready for a new opponent. And our guys knew that once the game ended Friday night. You know, they were they were ready for this week uh, as soon as we got finished that game because they know what there's a lot on the line, home playoff game for both teams, um, you know, cross-time rivalry within the town. So there's a lot riding on this game, so our guys were ready come Friday night. It sounds like Lexington is ready for this game, and I know the Gators are too. I know I, I'm ready. I'm ready too, Victor. It's going to be a really good one, and we're glad that you're here watching with us um, on the Gator game day. We always want to thank everybody who helps us out with us. Um, live stream director Ben Porth and Michael Allison, executive producer Jason Ijanet, camera operations Jackson Yeaman and Corey Suddeth, and the Center for Media Arts. All right. Well
It's <laughs> not
I'm on the field.
Coach Lee, uh, I have a crew three, a junior crew. This is, uh, I think, my third time coming to Sioux Shoals. Uh, in the past, it's been an unbelievable experience. It really lays a groundwork uh, for the collaboration piece. It deals with our habits of success. Um, looking forward to, to taking off from this point with this new crew as far as collaboration is concerned. Um, always have loved the way it builds the team, and uh, hopefully it's going to do it again this year.
Picks up about seven yards on the run. He's got a balance at the 46 yard line. Flag down after the play.
I just like the sound. I just like the sound.
I just like the sound of it. That's the ten yard penalty. The first down. Let's make some noise for your gator defense. Come 
extra point attempt is good. The score with 2 10 left to play in the first half. Lexington 14, Riverbluff 7. We encourage you to stick around and have time for a performance from the River Bluff Gator Bands. We can also grab the concessions from the Gator Grills located at the entrances to either concourse. Back to the turn for River Bluff number 24, Brayden Walker, and number 4, Riley Myers. Down by number 28, Prince Richardson. Ball spotted at the 40 yard line. It's first down in the stand. Third down and two. And off to Myers. Stopped at the line. Second side out of the half, they have one man. One here at Circus Burger has been talking to the press, telling them that chicken is better than burgers, and I want to know who it is. Is it you, Bill? No, sir. Diane? Wasn't me. I know it wasn't Steve. He just started. You're doing a great job here, Steve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not big on pointing fingers, but it was definitely Bill. Whoa. It could literally be any one of us. Mm. Somebody did it, and I'm going to find out who. Mm. What is going on here?
fumble on the play. Lexington recovers. Goes out of shots on the recovery. First down in 10 for the Wildcats from the 39 yard line. Score at the end of the first half. River Block 7, Lexington 14. Thank you. Thank you. Bubble on the field. Lexington recovers. 17 Joe Sykes Schroeder on the recovery. First down and 10 for the Wildcats from the 41 yard line. Two on the play that brings up second down and twelve. That's complete to number one, Alex Reed. Brought down at the 35 yard line. Start against the offense. That's a five-yard penalty. 
Yakari getting a stone to tackle. I know Scott stopped at the line. That brings up fourth down. First down and set for the Gators from there. With 9.36 left to go in the third quarter. Drop by number 44, Mitchell. Go on the play. So on the keeper. Brought down by number 17, Schroes. Short game on the play. It's like third down and about six from the 16 yard line. Jackson Stone on the quarterback keeper and a hit after the whistle. Stay tuned for the official ruling on the flat field. Field is a late hit against the defense. That's a 15 yard penalty. And another little bit here, first down. Completes over the middle. Stone finds Crenshaw the reception. That's the DCK and another River Wolf Gator first down. Ball spotted at the Lexington 42 yard line. Miles on the carry. Brought down at the 27 yard line. Matthias on the tackle. That's the middle of the river with a First down.
Jackson Stone on the carry. David Kilmer on the tackle. Kind of about eight on the play, maybe nine. Well spotted at the 18 yard line. It brings up second down and two. Walker on the carry. Brought down by Schroes. Short game of the play. Now, some of the River Bluff Gator first down. Play to Walker. Luke O'Brien on the tackle. Game of four on the play. That brings up second down at six from the 12 yard line. So his pass ball is incomplete. He's the receiver on the play, Kendall Long. Third down. Off to Walker. Brought down by Schwartz and I feel. Short loss on the play is fourth down. Braden Scott on his own for the field goal attempt. Goal is good. The score with 4.56 remaining in the third quarter. Rebel Block 10, Lexington 14. Sanders on the end of the third. Brought down by Sansing. Ball spotted right around the 25 yard line. Okay. I got the right Kennedy to let me hear you make some noise for your defense.
Styles on for the extra points. That's another kill. Good hands, extra points. The score is 427 remaining in the third quarter. Number 117, SMC 14. All right, Henry, so let me hear you make some noise. Oh, 
Return. Put it down at the 32 yard line. It'll be first down in San Juan de With three minutes left to play in the third quarter. It's not in that 32 yard line. The extra point attempt is blocked. Let's go with 248 to get in the third quarter. Let's go at 23. Let's go at 13.
Scott's on the hearing. Jacari Davis on the stop in the backfield. No game on the play. And we got an injury time out of the field. Scott's on the carry. They are on the stop. Adam Scott gets back to the original line of scrimmage. Third down nine. Front fielded at the 45 yard line. First down inside for the Peters. We have 55 seconds left to go in the third quarter. However, a flag on the field. Moving on the field is a holding against the offense. That's a 10 yard penalty. Fifty first down. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess the flag's down on the field. Burger has been talking to the press, telling them that chicken is better than burgers. And I want to know who it is. Is it you, Bill? No, sir. Diane? Wasn't me. I know it wasn't Steve. He just started. You're doing a great job here, Steve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not big on pointing fingers, but it was definitely Bill. Whoa. It could literally be any. He started inside the 30-yard line, Lexington first down at 10. 
Stops on the carry. Stop by Preston Sansoni. Short field on the play. It's like second down and nine from the 29 yard line. Tyler Gators. So our second sign out in the second half, Gators have one more remaining. Huggins pass from Weeks to Deontay Sanders. Kim Quickly here and Austin Glad on the stop. It's a big game for Lexington. A first down and 10 from the 44 yard line. Franco, there's a flag down after the play. Really on the field is a personal foul against the defense. Responsible has been ejected for the game. That's 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down for Lexington. Second down and 12 from the 41 yard line. Hudson's pass is complete. Alex Reed on the reception. Big game the play, the will be spotted at the six yard line, first down and goal.
Hold on, let's see. That's a six yard touchdown run for Brandon Scott. Pulling on for the extra point. And it's their first time out of the half. They have two remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, Rebel Bluffs Golden Gate Movement Club has the Linsky's Hope Risk Bands available at their tables on the home and visitors' concourse. They are asking for a $3 donation for each band, and all proceeds go directly to the Linsky's Hope Foundation. Nonprofit organization established by the parents of Tyler Helinski with a goal to educate, advocate, and remove the stigma associated with mental illness. Helinski's Hope Foundation funds programs that provide student athletes with the tools and resources that support their mental health and wellness. The Golden Gate Movement Club is a nonprofit organization that provides hands on, all inclusive, pro social approaches to the problems students face today. For more information, go to GoldenGateMovement.org. That's GoldenGateMovement.org. on the field is offside against the defense. And we'll move the ball half the distance to the goal. It's important to make sure the is not good. Myers on the return. Right down at the 40 yard line. First down and 10 for Riverbluff with 929 left to go.
Lexington put the balls in the box. Around the 44 yard line. Jimmy Christian on the outside for the Eagles from the 44. With 65, 655 left to go. Walk 
Gavin the field. Still second in. We've got an injury time on the field. The press telling them that chicken is better than burgers. And I want to know who it is. Is it you, Bill? No, sir. Diane? Wasn't me. I know it wasn't Steve. He just started. You're doing a great job here, Steve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not big on pointing fingers, but it was definitely Bill. Whoa. It could literally be any one of us. Ooh, Somebody did it, and I'm going to find out who. Ooh. What is going on here? First down and 10 for Lexington with four and a half minutes left to go. All right, Nation, let me see you stand up and make some noise. Thank you. 
Double on the field. Gators recover. Casey Franco on the recovery. Ball spotted at the 16 yard line. First down and 10.
Lexington School District 1 have enjoyed having you at tonight's game. The final score is River Bluff 37, Lexington 20. The Gators will next play at home next Friday in our playoff game. We'll keep you updated on the new opponent. We look forward to having you as our guest at future events, and please drive carefully on your way home. Also, don't forget that it's the Gator way to leave no trace, so please take all crash to the nearest place for steps. Work hard, get smart, do good. Go Gators, and good night.